Hello, welcome to Science Stories. We all agree that Maria Curie is one of the greatest scientists of all time, and definitely the greatest female scientist of all time. After all, she is the only person to win two Nobel Prize in two scientific fields. Nine things you didn't know about Marie Curie. Number one, she got her education in secret. Marie Curie was born and brought up in Russian-controlled Poland, where women are not allowed to study in higher education. So, Marie Curie had to attend a university in secret. Since she was attending a secret university, the location of her school keeps on changing to avoid detection. Number 2. Due to shortage of money, she occasionally fainted from hunger. In 1891, Marie Curie moved to Paris to study physics, chemistry, and mathematics. She studied during the day and gave tuitions in the evening in order to support herself financially. With little money, she survived on buttered bread and tea, and occasionally she fainted from hunger. Number 3, Maria met Pierre Curie because she was looking for larger laboratory space. In 1894, Marie Curie was looking for larger laboratory space for research. Pierre Curie had a large space in his lab. Marie was introduced to Pierre Curie by a mutual acquaintance. After getting to know each other, both of them fell in love. However, Marie put her career first. She rejected his proposal for marriage three times. In the end, they got married in July 1895. Number 4, the Curies coined the word radioactivity. In July 1898, Pierre and Marie discovered an element and named them, Polonium in honor of her native country Poland. In the same year, they also discovered another radioactive element and named them, Radium. The term, radioactivity, was used in their paper for the first time. Number 5, initially, the Nobel Prize Committee didn't want the award to be given to Marie, as she was a woman. Marie Curie was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1903. However, Marie was not on the list of awardees at first. The Nobel Committee decided not to give the award to her since she was a woman. A committee member, who was also an advocate of women scientists informed Pierre Curie of the decision. Pierre complained and threatened that he would not accept the prize if Marie Curie was not included in the list. After the complaint, her name was included in the nomination. Number 6, she had an affair with a former student of Pierre Curie. 1911 was a year of drama and scandal. She won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry becoming the first person to win two Nobel Prizes. But she was rocked with a scandal. It was found out that Marie had an affair with a former student of Pierre Curie. The press portrayed Marie as a foreign Jewish homewrecker. Curie was in Belgium when the scandal broke, and she found an angry mob in front of her house upon her return. Number 7, Marie Curie died because of her work. Marie Curie died in 1934 of aplastic anemia, likely due to so much radiation exposure from her work with radium. Marie's notebooks are radioactive and will be for many years to come. Marie's notebooks are still today stored in lead-lined boxes in France, as they were so contaminated with radium. For your information, radium has a half-life of 1,600 years. Marie Curie kept a sample of radium next to her bed as a nightlight. She even used to carry radium sample in her lab coat pocket. Number 8. Letter by Albert Einstein. When the scandal broke out, Marie was in Belgium attending the Solvay conference. Marie was the only female attendant at the conference. She met Albert Einstein at the conference. Albert Einstein was a fan of her work. When news broke out about how the press is treating Marie on her alleged affair, Einstein wrote a letter to Marie Curie as an encouragement. Einstein wrote, Highly esteemed Mrs. Curie. Do not laugh at me for writing you without having anything sensible to say. But I am so enraged by the base manner in which the public is presently daring to concern itself with you that I absolutely must give vent to this feeling. However, I am convinced that you consistently despise this rabble, 
whether it obsequiously lavishes respect on you or whether it attempts to satiate its lust for sensationalism. I am impelled to tell you how much I have come to admire your intellect, your drive, and your honesty, and that I consider myself lucky to have made your personal acquaintance in Brussels. Anyone who does not number among these reptiles is certainly happy, now as before, that we have such personages among us as you, and Langevin too, real people with whom one feels privileged to be in contact. If the rabble continues to occupy itself with you, then simply don't read that hogwash, but rather leave it to the reptile for whom it has been fabricated. With most amicable regards to you, Langevin, and Perrin. Yours very truly. Albert Einstein. Number 9, Maria adopted the French spelling of her name Marie. You may have known her name as Marie. Her original name was Maria. After moving to Paris, she changed her name to French, Marie, 